Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a chart like this one where when you change the value of the bar, the other is automatically compensated using a simple formula. So, first I'm going to create an add bar and name it chart. Now, I'm going to add a main layout that will contain all the chart elements. I'm going to change the background color. And add some rounded corners. Next, I'm going to add three child's layouts in a column. with a bit of padding and remove their background. The first layout will contain the chart name. So I'm going to add a text, something like project status. A little bigger. And I'm going to nest to the layout. Now, to create the background of the text, I'm going to wrap it so the layout is hack hack and remove the absolute option. Then, wrap it a second time, change the layout to hack hack. Add a little padding and a stroke for the background. And the last thing I'm going to do is select the padding layout and change the vertical to high. Now, for the bars, I'm going to use this layout. I'm going to create two more layouts in a column. Remove the backgrounds and inside uh, of this one, I'm going to create another two in a row. Here, I'm going to remove only this uh, background because I want to use this for the bar. Now, for the value, I'm going to add a number. A little bigger. And I'm going to nest to the layout. And change the vertical to high. So now we have one bar. For the other bar, I'm going to duplicate this layout, change the order, and change the color of the bar and the text. Great. Now that we have the design ready, let's work with the data binding. First, I'm going to create a view model, call it chart, and add it to that board. Now, I'm going to add a number property and call it percentage. Since it's a number property, I'll also need a converter. In this case, convert to string. 
and check uh, the options for round decimals and remove trailing zeros. Now let's bind the bar to the property. For this, I'm going to use this layout. I need to change the horizontal to fix it in percentage and bind the value to the number property. For the value, I only want to bind the number. To do this, I just need to select only the number and use the option Run from Selection. And bind this new run using the converter. For the other bar, I'm going to bind it to the same property and use a formula to compensate the value and maintain the total proportion. For this, I need to add another converter. In this case, a number type formula and use the input option. What I'm going to do in this formula is subtract the input value from the total and use this as a value for this bar. So I just need to add 100 minus input. Now we can bind the bar using this formula. For the value, since we need to use the convert to string converter, I'm going to use a group with both converters. The formula and the convert to string. And now bind the text the same way we did before. And that's it. Now, every time we change the value of the black bar, the white one automatically compensates. And for the view model, the only thing you need to do in case you want to export this chart is check the option export instance, and it will be ready to use in your projects.